Welcome back, everybody. There is so much to cover today. I will be going over Hololive Volume 2 Japanese release. Take a quick glance at the really expensive cards. Next, I'm going to go over to the English side and take a quick look at the playset pricing on Data Live Volume 2, Kaguya Volume 2, Seven Deadly Sin, Revival of the Commandments. And lastly, give you some channel updates. So, first up, we have Japanese Hawaii Schwartz Hollow Live Volume 2. This came out on March 24, 2023. So, this is past Friday. English side, remember, it does come out on August 4th. So, if you want to save up, if you want your cards in English, just wait for that time to come. These are really expensive, as you're about to see. One case has 18 boxes in it, and what you are finding is there is one SSP and four SP. Again, there could be errors at some point. You may get more than that. You may get less than that. It is bound to happen. Inside of here, we're 51 super special rare, 51 special rare, 15 triple rare, 130 super rare, and 16 double rares for the people that want to just play with base rarity cards. The next couple screens you're about to see are from a website called Yute. Here you go. Here's the link if you ever want to check that out. They do sell a bunch of different card games. What I want you to notice is I will be showing you the pricing off that website. There are other websites, of course, that you can go and use pricing-wise. This is the one I use. You can see the in-stock one is the one on the left with the red button. You can see the one on the right has a disabled button, which means this card is no longer in stock. The reason I show you this is because even though you see the price at 24,800 yen, if it is sold out, there is a possibility it is that price or higher. Here is Kiara, my favorite VTuber of the bunch from Hollow Live. You can see her SSP is very beautiful and comes in at 24,800 yen. It is sold out. There are a lot of really expensive cards in Hollow Live, and we're going to take a look at the SSPs. These are the cards that have joined the 100 yen club. You can see 100,000 yen as of this morning is 765 US dollars, but it's a lot cooler to say 100,000 yen. Outside of Suisse here, I did not change the order on any of the cards. They are a numerical order. I just want to show you Suisse coming in at 448,000 yen. That is insane. Definitely well deserved. I want you to keep in mind that even though those cards were really expensive, you only get one SSP per case, and not all SSPs are that expensive. Out of the ones I just showed you, that was only 16 of the 51, which means there's a bunch of them that are definitely below 100,000. You can see here on the screen there is a wide variety. We have Flair down there at 39,800. We had that Kiara at 24800 And if you just flip through the different screens, go to that website and check out the actual prices. Just know that you are attempting to gamble on this if you're trying to flip this for money. Because you never know what you're going to get from that case. You got a 1 in 51 shot on getting the card that you want and on getting that freaking expensive Suisse. That card looks so good. And here you are. That is the last of them. Now, the SPs, remember, four per case. You are going to see this the majority of the time when it comes to the signature cards. Now, you can see right here, same idea. You're going to see them more often. They're not even above 10,000 yen at this point for some of them. But the one thing to notice about this, you can see right here, there is not a lot of red buttons on here. And specifically speaking about this one, None at all. Now, if I flip through, we could see two buttons on there. If I go to the next one, one is lit up. And lastly, none, which means there is a huge demand for all the different VTubers out there because you could tell there is a lot of this product being open 
but yet the supply is definitely being bought up on these cards. Not surprising, Suisse comes in as your biggest SP from the booster box, coming in at 29,800 and sold out. Next, we got Chloe for 24,800 yen, still one left in stock. And lastly, we have Gargura coming in at 24,800 and sold out. The Volume 2 Triple Rares are super pretty. Some of them are really expensive and a great number of them are sold out. People would want them for their max rarity deck, which is what is going on here. You can see our lovely lady here is showing up at 4980. I show these because remember, this is kind of what's going to happen in English, just to prepare yourself budget-wise for what's about to happen. Here is the double rares, which people will be playing this set on. If you can't afford the max rarity version, you know what, at least double rares got a little bit of that foiling on there. You can see Kanada over there at $29.80, so freaking expensive. Just think about that again. You have cards, double rares, that are so expensive because there are 16 double rares in this actual box. I saw play sets of Hollow Live for English version priced out at $400. It's pretty insane when you think about playset pricing, but it does make sense based on how many cards you actually have to get for a full playset. Moving on really quick, I want to talk about the playsets on the English side. I keep seeing people offering $150. Those days are over, if you haven't noticed. I've talked about that with Seven Deadly Sins and then also Kaguya. Now here we are once more for Data Live Volume 2. You can see what's happening here. Even though this set just came out, right now the double rares by themselves currently sit at 212.76. And I know we want to give that a week, maybe a two weeks, and see if the double rares do come down. This is just basically showing again the lack of people opening it. I explained that in my buy or invest video for Data Live and Kaguya. Kaguya Love is War, it's been out for some time now. And are you surprised to see that a double rare playset is $293.64? Lastly, we have Seven Deadly Sins. $233.84. So anybody out there still making a joke about how you could get play sets for $100, $125, $150, I think it is swinging on the other side of the seller. And if you want to know about the whole equation that goes into how to do play sets, how to sell them, and how you can make profit on it, here you go. Everything that you need to know. I tell you right away in there that it is not easy to do it. So just don't think that you can just make money on all this. There is some warnings inside of there. But just for the new people out there, this is how you go about doing it. Channel updates. I've been really busy with work. You can tell this happens at the end of every month because that's when my project is due. So if I am not close to finishing my project or there's something going on, you won't see videos. And that's why I mentioned this. I'm at the end of the month. It's very, very hectic and busy for me right now. For the channel member people, you know, again, thanks for your support. I am going to do something different uh, when it comes to special videos for you. Actually, offer special videos. But my buyer invest video, I think I'm going to put them out earlier for you. And what I'm going to do on those is... I'm going to give you like a rough version, just a quick down and dirty what my thoughts are, show you my thinking um, on what I'm going to buy or not buy. And then later on, I'll make my fancier version later on. That way you have an idea ahead of time what I'm actually thinking about. Also, I'm going to do a thing after I make these normal videos where I am going to do basically like an overtime or... Uh, my thoughts on what I was just talking about. Because there are some times you haven't noticed in my video where I go, uh, maybe I shouldn't say that. So I'm going to just put that my thought, what I shouldn't have said out loud, those things, I'm going to put that in those videos. So you'll see more and more of that going on. It's not going to be, it's not meant for anybody else outside of you all. It's really just because I want to make sure some of the stuff I say doesn't go out there in public. So what better way than to communicate to all of you? Lastly, giveaway. It is the end of the quarter. I haven't had time to do my normal survey thing. One of the videos 
I guess I'll do it two videos because it's it's per quarter. I'll do two videos coming up and I'll slam the survey inside of there. That way you can get it. Apologize again. Just been so busy with work. I'm also actually waiting for some cards to come in that I want to use as part of an option for a said giveaway. So waiting on that to come in as well. Other than that, here is my info as always. Just uh, hit me up if you need me. Again, if you do choose to email me because I know people send me some big ones. You get that one-on-one -on -one personal kind of email back and forth, but do know that it takes me a while to get to those emails. Uh, outside of that, comments always take me about one to two days, all right? As always, have fun, be happy, and don't spend anything outside of your budget.